The facility by itself is the biggest of its kind in, in Australia currently and also the most uh, state-of-the-art best practice that you would find today as far as technology and audiovisual, audiovisual technology is concerned. It is to first of all uh, teach them the, the skills of dexterity and then from there they start with the real treatment options that they would find in a, in a specific patient. Treatment needs and we try to teach them each and every little step as well as we can before they then allow to go and start working on patients. The virtual reality machines is a, a fairly new concept for us in the industry uh, in the sense that it makes use of, of uh, technology which is, uh, is using haptic devices uh, and that's something similar to what pilots use in, in their simulate uh, environments where they do simulate the training. It's exactly the same concept. To learn how to move and act, interact with a patient is really good to learn before you're actually with them, so you don't actually have to any, make any silly mistakes in front of them. It's very useful. We need to practice our dexterity and our positions with the patient, so it's really useful. Dentistry will come a long way in the next few years. There's so much new technology. It makes, I think, a trip to the dentist a lot more friendly and easy. It's not as invasive, which I think lots of people are afraid of. As I say, for, for the students uh, of our university, but also for the profession of South Australia to have a facility like this that everybody can use uh, is really a very fortunate opportunity for us. And we, we're really happy that we, uh, we have that. And especially in Adelaide, that's a wonderful occasion for us and something to celebrate.